Over the past few weeks, I've been obsessed with this anime called Boshi the Rock. It's about a guitarist who suffers from severe social anxiety and plays alongside three other members in a band. If you haven't watched it already, you should. It's really good, and a second season has just been announced. <laughs> I've actually been taking computer science courses for almost two months now, and I've made a couple of small projects. Recently, midterms have started up, and our computer science teacher told us that we need to make an interactive scene. By interactive, elements just had to move around. We can work with other people and have an entire week to finish it. Oh my God. You know, maybe this time I should try to work with someone else. How bad could it be? Hey, wanna be my I will hang you like laundry. When the teacher was talking about the project, I began thinking about ideas for the game. None of what I thought of actually sounded interesting though. I want you to guess what was bugging my brain at the current moment. Five, four, three, two, and one, it was Boshi the Rock. Man, I should make a Boshi the Rock game, I thought to myself. And then I realized the problems. When people pass by my desk, which is right beside my teacher's desk, by the way, they'll see me working on this. By making the Boshi the Rock theme game, I'd literally just be exposing myself in front of an entire class that I watched anime. I'd be in aura depth if I admitted that I liked anime. Plus, like, wh what would I even do? I know there's like a ton of scenes in Boat of the Rock, so we had like plenty of ideas, but it was hard to find the type of game I could make in my current skill level. I'm an amateur coder. Remember, I only just started coding like two months ago. I'm still using P5. Is it better that I use P5? Probably not, but still. Maybe I could make a cafe game based on that one scene where Boshi becomes employed. I could try making a rhythm game, but I don't even know if I have the skill to make a rhythm game. So I made a rhythm game. I haven't played anything other than Friday Night Funkin', but a simple four key rhythm game is probably more than enough to get me in it. I started with the note system first. I reused the projectile code from another project I made. When a projectile gets deleted, every other projectile flickers and gets moved down a small bit. I don't know how to fix it, and I won't. It works perfectly fine, and even in a rhythm game, it barely has any effect on gameplay. Uh, if, if it ain't broke, don't, like, uh, fix it. I also made a score. If you press the keys at the right time, you get 50 points. But if you missed, you'd... Oh, oh, oh my god. N never mind then. I made functions that spawned the left, down, up, and right notes and went home that day with a mostly completed note system. I'll refine it tomorrow, I guess. But something kept bugging me in the afternoon. What would the visuals even look like? I thought about it really hard. I had an idea where I'd grab a full body portrait of Boshi the Rock, cut her limbs up into individual parts, and Photoshop frames like that. But it would probably look really creepy, and I didn't even feel like doing that. I needed some way to visualize Boshi without it looking off. I could try making pixel art. I'm an okay pixel artist, but I felt like making art for my computer science project was a little overkill. I made art for my computer science project. Okay, so this is this is Boshi. She she looks a little angry. I don't really know how to make humans in pixel art. She's got the guitar. I made like left, down, up, and right sprites for her. That's that's pretty cool. Then we have Nijika. I didn't really feel like making a whole drum set, so I just gave her this drum thing and a stick. And I think it looks pretty fine. No one even cares about this character anyway, other than this like one YouTuber I watch. It's fine. Hi everyone, Polly, Polly edit post fun. So while I was like editing this video, I completely forgot about the Dorito on her head, so, uh, I'm just, uh, oh, what the f- oh, yeah. That's beautiful. So this is Kida. She's like supposed to have a light blue guitar, but if I if I did try to give her one, uh, her sprite would look really crowded. So 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 I ended up giving her the microphone. I think most people only care about her singing anyway. F you guitar. And then we have Rio. Everyone else looks like Boshi except for Rio. Guess what my favorite character is? I just borrowed the guitar Boshi had and painted it white. I also paid attention to her hair. She's like a lot more different than Boshi's hairstyle, so I couldn't just reuse it. None of these look good in my opinion. All of these are shaped really awkwardly, but they look funny and their shading looks acceptable. So I ended up using these sprites anyway. So we're gonna have everyone present their projects on Monday. So it was unavoidable. Everyone in my computer science class would know that I watch anime. I, I think I'm fried. In my honest defense, this is a computer science class. I think 80% of the students here are chronically online like me. I even saw one person with a made calamitous profile picture. Incredible work. Anyway, I needed to make a chart for my rhythm game, but I don't really know how to do it. I'm definitely not capable of making a chart editor. Considering my skill level, that's way out of my reach. And then it hit me. Like, an idea slapped me in the head. Kind of like a bait. I think every rhythm game enthusiast will bash me in the head for this, but I made this cool program on Scratch that would play a song and you could press keys to the beat of the song to make a chart. Why Scratch? Uh, well, because I'm used to it. But it also has this timer function I could use to time where the notes would spawn. So say for example, I wanted to chart this. I could just do it. I could just go into this program, add the audio file, and press keys on where I think the notes would play. This was really suboptimal. If you made a mistake, you'd have to restart the entire song over again. But uh, it works, and I could care less about stuff like this. It's for a school project anyway. Pressing keys would add lines of code to a list. You could export the list into a text file, open it up, copy all the lines of code, and put it into a project. I attached all the lines of code into a function, and when I played music over it, it worked pretty flawlessly. Of course, I had to adjust where the notes would spawn, so it actually felt like you were beating, I, I, I mean, uh, tapping to the song. But my completely unconventional method of adding charts into my my game worked. So we're moving on. This is where I'd have to decide what song I put into the game. I prefer I only had one song, kind of like a demo. I ended up settling for that band.
It's played during a scene that would be the perfect base for a bochi themed rhythm game, and either way it's a banger, and it's about Rio, and I like Rio. I had the function play on startup of the project, and boom, we now have a playable rhythm game. The chart editor was done, but the game still looked pretty bad. I decided I'd work on the visuals tomorrow, but I genuinely felt proud of everything I'd done so far. I went to computer science today, and the teacher said that we need to draw a rough draft of what would be our final project. So I locked it. Over here we have the notes. I want to change the circles in the guitars because circles are boring. I also have all the Kasoku band members over here. I'll have them animated whenever that's their part in the song. Man, they look so beautiful. Look at Kira, she's having fun. I went ahead and added all the band members. I made a toggle that determined whether they'd be animated or not. Kira, Nijika, and Ryo were all identical to each other, but Bochi on the other hand was completely different. I want you to know that I charted that band, not on the entire song, but purely the guitar parts. Essentially, the three other band members were filler to make the game look cool. Only Bochi matters here. I made her change sprites depending on what key you press. If you tap left, she'd go left. Right, she'd go right. Up, she'd go up. I don't think that's how you play the guitar. And down, she'd go down. And that was Bochi. I added timers to when each member of Kasoku would play. It was pretty annoying. I had to tweak the timers because there was a small delay to when that band would play. But I got it all figured out. And that was it. I don't think I did anything else on Wednesday. Just play testing in characters. Anyway. Uh, Guitar Hero? Oh, 5 out of 5. I dedicated this day to just improving the visuals. Right now, the band is playing in grayscale. It looks boring, so I made this cool background and stage using rectangles. I finally, finally chased the notes from circles to guitars. It took a bit of time to get used to. They looked, I don't have a proper word for it, but they looked skinnier than the circles. It made the game look a lot nicer, though. I also added these cool lights that change colors to members of the band. I had this leftover tempo timer I made at the start of the project, and I didn't want to waste it, so I used it to change the color and behavior of the cool-looking lights. I'm sorry for how short Wednesday and Thursday were. Like, Wednesday was a minimum day, and Thursday I spent like more than half the period making the story and had like little time to do anything else, but oh well. Anyway. I dedicated this day to just adding new features. One of the first things I did was change the font. I tried going for a pixel font, but it didn't feel right, so I just went with Comic Sans. Previously, the game automatically started whenever the page loaded. I added this cool screen to prevent that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add more songs to this game, but I added this text above that showed the song you were about to play, just for style. I also added this dark rectangle under the notes. It made things look a lot more readable. The chorus part of that band looked pretty underwhelming. I felt like it needed to look cooler, so I added this no vibration effect that made the notes vibrate during that part. After a player completes a chart, the game just halts. No signal that you want or whatnot. So I added this function that checks if the player is past a certain score. If they are past the score, they'll get this cool little windscreen. But if they aren't, they'll be- But I kept playtesting this game a little bit too much, and before I knew it, the bell rang. Uh, just as I was about to fix the loose screen. Hey, uh, could I work on this at home? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, uh, thanks. Okay, here's the project before the weekend. Still bare bones. Now here's the project afterward. Incredible improvement. First, I'll just get this out of the way. All of the footage you've seen until now was zoomed in. Here's what the game looked like beforehand. I increased the game resolution from a small 600x400 to 1280 by 720 Yes, I did have to go back into the code and readjust literally everything to fit that resolution, but it looks a lot nicer now, and I'm pretty proud of what I've done. The background is also much prettier. I added these cool posters on the wall. I still don't know how to recreate the story, but I did try my best. There's also a vision net for extra style. I also changed the guitars a little bit. They're obviously bigger, but I colored them and made them fatter. I did this by- There's also a title screen now. It's pretty generic, but it's better than just being kicked into a menu. Now that I wasn't limited on time, I could actually add more songs into the game. I charted Station Complex and Guitar Loneliness and Blue Planet. I also added a Drake song. I don't really know why I did, but I was low-key feeling it that morning, so... I added a combo system. It does nothing to your score, but it does look pretty satisfying. I changed how the lights look too. Instead of appearing at the top of the screen, they appear at the bottom now. And that was it. Now all I have to do is present tomorrow. Man, I can't wait. Apparently, my teacher was recording each one of our presentations. However, when I came up to present, he forgot to unmute the microphone. So unfortunately, no audio actually came from the presentation. I'm sorry, I'm just as boned out as you are. So I'll just cover how it went. The presentation did pretty well. I wore gloves because I'm still insecure about my hands. I showcased that band and the song selection menu in the presentation. And the audience liked them. Like, really liked them. Unlike most of my classmates, I actually cared about this assignment. The rest of the projects that were presented were really low effort, so maybe that contributed to big success. I might not have audio for the presentation, but I do have these. The teacher had us play our games like it was an arcade. So I got these videos of my classmates playing. I hope they're good enough. Oh my goodness. Okay, well that works. <laughs> oh, oh, you lost. <laughs> I'm crossing the border. Don't, don't stop me. I'm pretty. This this is not again. The blue one's my favorite, not gonna like, lie. Like, I'm crossing the border. This isn't again. It's a guitar. Oh, it's, a, it's a bass. 